Nikki Don Koenig is an inspirational speaker. She's going to get up here and talk about vegan fashion. She's so inspirational that this outfit, this very outfit, not a single animal, despite what some people might think, was harmed uh, to produce it. And I, I, I believe, I truly believe that if you listen to this and, and you feel the passion that she, uh, in which she speaks, you yourself will start shopping at these vegan-friendly uh, providers. So coming up, Nikki, let's talk about this. Thank you, Winston. Hello again. <laughs> so what the heck is vegan fashion? If you're thinking that this is some sort of hippie talk, I assure you it's more hip than hippie. <laughs> what is vegan? Vegan is a diet that excludes all animal products and animal byproducts. It is also a lifestyle and a philosophy that excludes all animal products in all aspects of life. The word vegan has been trending since the 80s, according to Google, and it continues to trend. So it's a, it's a growing market, and you will be hearing a lot about veganism. What is ve vegan, vegan fashion, then? <laughs> it's part of the vegan lifestyle that excludes um, all animal products and animal byproducts in your clothes and in your accessories. So what does it matter? It matters because the global fashion industry is a $1.2 trillion industry, and it has tremendous impact on people, planet, and animals. So let's take a look at how they impact people. We're aware of the horrendous working conditions in sweatshops. We're aware of child labor. We're aware of slave labor. In 2013, Rana Plaza collapsed and killed over 1,000 people. It pollutes the planet. It is the second most polluting industry. It pollutes our air, our land, and our water. And 13 million tons of textile is discarded into our, land, into our landfill each year in the US. It exploits animals. They are treated as commodities, and there are no to little regulations to protect them against animal cruelty. So these are the animals that are used for their fur, specifically for their fur, not for food. To make coats, scarves, handbags, shoes. And also accessories. Leather, these are a few of the animals. You may be surprised to see cats and dogs because they are not required to be labeled overseas. Animal wool from these animals are used for coats and clothing and accessories as well. Goats are labeled as cashmere and rabbits as angora. So check your, your labels. And sometimes these animals are ripped, you know, their fur is ripped while they're still alive. And animal shilling is the skin and wool of sheep and lamb to create these clothing products. And when they're sheared, Oh, sorry. So these down feathers are the undercoats of ducks and geese, and they are sometimes plucked alive to make coats, jackets, shoes, down comforters, down pillows. Silk is made from the silkworm's cocoon, which are steamed alive with the worm inside so that the cocoon can be woven into silk threads to make these products. So how do you wear vegan? You don't have to be vegan to wear vegan. If you don't want to support animal cruelty, you can wear vegan. You just have to know what to look for. So these animal, or these animal free materials are available for every animal materials out there. And technology has made it possible for us to have these materials. And once again, you just have to know what to look for when you're, when you're shopping. And these are the few shops that you can go to. Just search vegan, synthetic, faux, or natural fibers. And most retailers have vegan options. You just have to know what to look for. These are the fashion brands. The first three brands are local Dallas vegan brands. 
So you don't have to travel far to shop for vegan fashion. And Stella McCartney is, of course, the international vegan brand. If you want to learn more, just Google vegan fashion and watch the True Cost documentary. And it talks about the impact the fashion industry has on animal planets and, uh, and animals and people. So to end, there is no beauty in the finest cloth if it makes hunger and unhappiness. You can follow me at PsychoChick or PsychoChick.com. Thank you.